Well, one of Kentucky's most historic sites has a big change coming in its immediate future. Thanks to a decision made today by EKU's Board of Regents, ownership of Whitehall Historic Park in Madison County will soon be much closer to home, despite some concerns from the community. LEX 18's Connor McHugh has the story. Tucked away in northern Madison County is a time machine to Kentucky's history. More than 150 years later, anyone can visit the home of famed politician and abolitionist Cassius Clay. It's always going to be a park open to the public. But now this piece of history's future is changing. Today, EKU's Board of Regents agreed to take ownership of Whitehall Historic Site from the state's tourism cabinet. There are a lot of things there that exemplify uh, a lot of lessons in history that would help our students. EKU's Regents praise the educational opportunities of owning the park while sharing concerns over the cost of upkeep. Some in the community say they worry about how the change will affect preservation and tourism. This must pass the smell test not only for your university and the people that you represent, but for locals and for historians. Over the next two years, the state will provide $100,000 along with some help in advertising. If the park ever closes, the state would take back control. It's a great facility. It's an important facility. It's historical. We need to keep it always open to the public, which is, this enables us to do that very well. The deal won't be final until Whitehall's deed is officially transferred, which will likely take several months. Covering the news in Madison County, Connor McHugh, LEX 18 News.